Cultural jewelry making a difference in our community. I'm Dominique Lay, your neighborhood reporter in Waco. I spoke with a local woman originally from Kenya who's turning these beads into a way to help other women overcome domestic violence. Immigrant women, they don't know about the resources that we have. And a lot of us, we are so scared to ask for help. After arriving in the U.S. from Kenya almost 30 years ago, Lillian Stevens got married, landing her in a domestic abuse situation. My immigration status was being used to threaten me. So I was so scared, even though I was working, trying to look odd jobs here and there, I was still surviving with my kid. After finding her way out of her relationship and into a shelter, eventually learning how to earn permanent residence. And those people helped me along the way. I knew that in my heart, I wanted to give back. It wasn't long until she decided to start her own nonprofit, Alili Bold Accessories, helping women who were in similar situations. I'll show you one of my best selling ones here. Texas flag. <laughs> she began making and selling African jewelry inspired by the Maasai tribe in Kenya. They wear big earrings and they make these. This was made by the Maasai. With all the proceeds going towards immigrant women suffering in silence. Because a lot of times they don't have papers. And they're even out, they're scared to go and ask for help. You know, they, they, they are here, they feel that the police will be called. So she starts with the children, doing annual toy drives in hopes of changing a life. And I don't ask nothing, and all I do is I just give you the toys. That's where I open up without without trying to know too much because I know that's a sensitive t uh, thing for any woman to even talk about. If you want to find Alili and support her ministry, you can find links to her accounts on our website, kxxv.com, or if you want to hear one of her amazing stories, you can find her at the Waco Downtown Farmer's Market. According to the National Organization of Women, abuse rates among immigrant women are reaching almost 50 percent. That's almost three times the national average. Along with physical, sexual or emotional abuse, abusers often use their partner's undocumented status as a weapon, threatening deportation or refusing to file immigration papers. If you find yourself in a domestic violence situation and need help, you can call the Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE. Your neighborhood reporter in Waco, I'm Dominique Lay.